Hi, my name is Rob Bako, and today I'm going to teach you how to use a dial indicator to look for your run out in your flywheel on the outside and as well on the inside. Now, when you're looking for the run out on the inside of your flywheel, that is to make sure that when your transmission is mounted up to the flywheel, that it's not sitting in there cricket or it's not going to bounce around in there. And then, of course, um, you're looking for clearance of up and down and side to side. And then to do the outside, you, you're, you're checking to make sure that your transmission is going to mount up to your engine flush. No, no space in between or anything like that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your dial indicator and make sure that it's zeroed out. All right, after you got it zeroed out, then of course, for educational purposes only, this engine that I'm demonstrating on is a Hercules and it doesn't turn over from someone else putting it back together wrong. So uh, as of right now, I can maybe get a quarter of a turn out of it, but it will demonstrate on what the tool is gonna do to show you the difference of the, the run out. Now, I don't have the specifications on me for the run out, but you can go into manual about page 139 and the specifications are written in the manual about what you're looking for. So I'm gonna get my buddy Jeff over here. He's gonna go back to the back side of the engine and he is going to turn it a little bit. And as you can see, as he turns it, the dial indicator will go on a path around the flywheel housing uh, it'll continue going around in a straight circle. And what you're looking for, basically, after you get your specification, is you're going to get your number off your dial indicator and match up the specifications and subtract them. And that'll give you your difference. And if it's within, you know, tolerance, then, of course, you got a good flywheel housing. Now, right now, we have it set up to measure the inside. And then, of course, all you have to do to do the outside is you can take the dial indicator unlock it, rotate it around, and put it right there on the outside of the flywheel housing. And then you do the same thing, you zero out your uh, dial indicator and then you repeat the process. So as again, education purposes only, this engine does not turn over, so unfortunately I wasn't able to show you a full rotation and as I said, I don't have the correct specifications you can always look in your owner's manual for those specifications. Or, of course, go to the Oracle of All Knowledge, go to Google, and they may be able to show you something or tell you something. Uh, but basically, in a nutshell, that's how you use a dial indicator to uh, measure the run out of your flywheel housing inside and out. Thanks again. My name is Rob. See you later.